guys welcome back to another m creator tutorial so today what we're going to be covering is a couple different uh things in today's video one we're going to be covering the block for printing things to the console this is great for testing and then the other thing is we're going to be covering how the actual procedures are being read so uh, we can test a couple things and run a couple different procedures to kind of get an idea of what the exactly how the um the order of things being run so this might be pretty simple for most of you um that are more experienced with how procedures run but for somebody that's starting off with the procedures it's um kind of important to know how all the different blocks work and stuff so what we're going to do is we're going to need a couple um call blocks and we're going to run these in the order of basically how the command thing works but and before we do that we need a few different other procedures uh, to actually call into those call blocks so I'm just going to call them uh, something around call 1, call 2, call 3, uh, and call 4, call 5 and then what we're going to do is we're going to basically set up a print command so we can just print out a message we're going to use a create block or create text with and then we're just going to remove that last one we don't really need that one and then what we're going to do is we're going to get a number and we're just going to output this number to the console so this is the one procedure so this one will actually print out the number one uh, we're going to do that for exactly a few others so i'm just going to duplicate this call this two and then we'll update the number in here so we get a more accurate number and we'll do this until we get to five. So this is three and this one should be printing out the letter or the number three. And then what we want to do is we want four and five just to make sure that we can kind of see the pattern of how things are working. That's why I'm doing five, not three because three is harder to build data on. So um, I could do four, but it doesn't really, it's not an even number. So I just figured, uh, we'll go with five because five can round to an even number and stuff like that. So, all right. So with that, uh, what we can do is we can just call all these different numbers and we're going to call one, two, three, and four, and five. So th this is basically what we're doing is we're going to be telling those procedures to run in this main procedure. And then what we're going to do is we're going to shift these around just to kind of make sure that the order isn't, you know, seeing as if it was a pattern. So I'm just going to make sure that they're running in a different order than one, uh, two, three, four, five. It'll be three, four, five, one, two. So then what we do is we basically boot up the game and we're going to make sure that when it's finished doing all the console stuff, what we're going to do is we're going to basically go ahead and clear the console. So basically I'm already in game. So what I'm going to do is press that red X and then we're going to basically have a clean window so we can see where our print messages are going to be printed out. So I'm just going to break a block quickly and it should print out the order of those numbers. So as you can see here, it's three, four, and five and then one and two so that's basically the order that we set them in so that's what we can basically see that how it's printing them out uh the reason why i did that is so you guys know that it's not you know in a specific order that it needs to be called it's easier to see it uh when it's like that so we have five four or three five three four five and then one two all right, so what about the other blocks? Like what about um, if you're doing a if statement? Now this one is a little bit different. Um, if statements, basically how the procedure system works is it will read from left to right and top to bottom. So when you're working with the if statements and you add an and block or an or block, um, basically what will happen is it's going to go ahead and um, update the system. So wherever the first block being run in that AND or OR statement is going to run first. So I'm going to demonstrate that by just basically returning true uh, because in order to basically get a return value from these procedures being run, what we're going to need to do is actually 
uh, get a return value. So I'm going to just basically set all these up with a return value. I'm going to import that one I just exported. And then I'm going to set up all five of these procedures for uh, a return value of true. So we can just basically call them in a um, condition. So when we're in here, what we need is an and statement or pardon me, an if statement. So we're going to go ahead and just close out a Minecraft itself. We don't really need that open at the moment. So I'm just gonna close out of that. Uh, we could probably just go to the M creator and press stop. That will do it quicker. All right, so we'll grab an if statement and then what we'll do is we'll grab a and statement. Now we're going to make sure that we have enough room for those, but first let's grab the call block. We're gonna need one of these and then we're gonna to need to basically um, duplicate this five times or four times I think because we need five spaces in order to pr put our thing. So as you can see, this is probably the simplest way you can set up a and statement. <laughs> Uh, if you're going to see it from run from left to right, we're going to actually have the same order of what we did before. Uh, we're going to go one, two, or four, five, one, two. So that will make it in the order of what, or three, four, five, one, two, pardon me. I <laughs> just woke up and a little bit tired. Um, all right, so actually I'm going to switch it up a little bit and we're going to go five and then four so that way it's a little bit different than the last one so you can see that the order will be in the same order so uh, it doesn't matter if the and statement is basically from top to bottom or like whatever like system that you have it in uh, it's going to still read it from this particular perspective uh, from left to right and if you have it um, in line then it's going to read from top to bottom. So keep that in mind when you're actually creating these because those might be very important for what things are running first. All right, so after we've done that, let's go ahead and basically wait for Minecraft to load up and then we'll pop in game. And then what we'll do is we'll just clear the thing once we're in the game itself and then we can break another block and then it will print out our numbers after we clear the console. So we'll just quickly wait for the game to load and then we can basically get the numbers that we basically set. So it's just taking a couple seconds. I clicked on it and sometimes it doesn't actually fully load. I'm not sure why, but it does what it needs to do, I guess. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna clear the console and then we're gonna pop back in game, start or go back to the game and then we're just gonna break a block. And as you can see, it goes three, five, Four. So that's exactly the pattern that we wanted and then one and two. So that's exactly the same order that we have it in now if we were to basically make these in line so if it was in line like um, From top to bottom like if we made it in a different order. So like that It's going to run the exact same way. It's not going to make any difference that It's going to run. It's still going to run from top to bottom just the same as if it was going from left to right. So it doesn't matter in what order that you run it from. Uh, when it comes to or statements, now this is a little bit different. Um, when you're working with an or statement, basically what's happening is um, it's going to come across one of those things and it's going to read whatever's on the first line still. And then it's going to see if that condition is true. And if it is true, then it's going to run on the bottom one. So for example, if we set this or statement right here to, or set this if and statement to an or statement, what's going to happen is it's going to go from three, five, four, and then it's going to skip one and two because four will return true. That's what we have it set up in our actual, um, if statement so like in the uh, procedure that we're running from four so let's go ahead and stop the game and we'll make sure that we can give this a quick test before we end today's video so I'm gonna pop back in here basically break it and then we're going to see basically how it runs so it goes three five and finally four and then it will say done so basically that was the end of the procedure it didn't run one or two so the reason why again is because we're basically running the or statement and whatever returns true first will basically return that value so it'll basically cut out 
whatever's on the opposite or side of things. So hopefully today's video wasn't too complicated. I hope I demonstrated it well enough where it's easy enough to follow. Uh, I figured printing out messages would be the best way to do it. So um, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.